Welcome to the Disclosure Calculator, the only online tool that helps you to work out when your convictions become spent under the Rehabilitation of Offenders Act, as it applies in England and Wales. The calculator is managed by Unlock, a charity for people with convictions. Before we begin, we just want to let you know that the Disclosure Calculator works based on the information put into it. We've made every reasonable effort to ensure it works in accordance with the Rehabilitation of Offenders Act. That said, we can't guarantee its accuracy or completeness, and liability is expressly excluded and disclaimed by Unlock. The calculator is only as good as the information put into it. Before you start, make sure you have the date of conviction, the sentence or disposal received, and your date of birth. Name of conviction. You don't have to put anything in this box. It's optional. However, if you're inputting more than one conviction, it can help you identify each individual conviction on the results page. Date. For prison sentences and community orders, you'll need to enter the date the sentence started. For all other sentences disposals, enter the date of conviction. If date unknown, choose the nearest month or year. Type of disposal. If you select caution, make sure that in the next section you choose either simple caution or conditional caution. Sentence or disposal received. You'll need to enter the specific sentence disposal that you received for the conviction. This will determine the rehabilitation period for that specific offence. Make sure you select the exact sentence or disposal that you received. Many disposals have similar names but different rehabilitation periods. If you choose the wrong one, the results may be inaccurate. There are some sentences and disposals that are no longer used, and if you can't find yours in the drop-down box, then give the Unlock Helpline a call. If you've received a motoring conviction, you'll need to make sure that you include a sentence disposal of any motoring endorsements onto the calculator. Endorsements need to be added as well as any other sentence disposal that you were given in court, such as a fine or a disqualification. It's important to do this as motoring endorsements have their own rehabilitation period of five years. If you miss this out, your results aren't going to be accurate. Motoring convictions continued. To add a motoring endorsement, simply go to the Add Another Disposal to this Conviction button. We've got a lot more information on our Information Hub about motoring convictions and the Rehabilitation of Offenders Act. Prison or Suspended Sentences When entering prison sentences or suspended sentences, you'll be asked for the length of the sentence in months or weeks. Make sure you enter one or the other, but not both. If you've received multiple convictions with consecutive prison sentences, you'll need to add together the length of the prison sentence for every conviction. For example, if you were sentenced to three months and five months to run consecutively, you should enter eight months as the sentence. Prison or suspended sentences continued. If there is more than one sentence or disposal, you can record them all by selecting the Add Another Disposal to this Conviction button. More info on prison suspended sentences is available on our Information Hub. Relevant orders. Relevant orders include things like restraining orders and sexual offence prevention orders. If you've got a relevant order, the calculator will ask you for the length of the order in months. If your order runs indefinitely, you'll need to tick the box. The calculator will then treat it as unspent indefinitely. It can't be spent until the order ends. Breaches. If you originally received a community order or a conditional discharge and were later brought to the court for a breach of that order, then this may affect the rehabilitation period of the original conviction. If you need to add a breach, then you should add it as a further conviction dealt with in the same proceedings. Adding a further conviction. If you have more than one conviction, then you'll need to enter them based on whether they were dealt with in the same proceedings or whether they were dealt with separately. Foreign convictions. If you were convicted abroad, your conviction might still be protected by the Rehabilitation of Offenders Act. However, there are likely to be significant differences in the name of your offence and the type of sentence you received. If your sentence doesn't match with the sentence in this country, then the Ministry of Justice should be able to advise you of the nearest equivalent. Final details. Your date of birth is needed to determine how old you were at the point of conviction. Some rehabilitation periods are based on the age you were at the time of your conviction. If you want to keep a copy of the results, you will need to provide your email address. The email subject line will be Disclosure Calculator Results and will contain the details you input into the calculator. Make sure you read the disclaimer 
and if you're happy, tick the I accept the above disclaimer box, followed by calculate the result. The results. Your results will now appear on the screen. Your conviction may already be spent. If not, you'll be given the date on which your conviction will become spent. Sadly, in some cases, it will never become spent. If you're unsure what the results mean, then you can always give the Unlock helpline a call. There are other ways that Unlock can help. The calculator is just one of the sites run by Unlock. There are other ways we help those with convictions. You can always contact the Unlock helpline if you want to discuss the results or for any further information around disclosure. Help us improve the calculator. We'd really appreciate any feedback you can give. Your confidential feedback helps us to ensure the calculator is helping others with convictions. Thank you for using the Unlock Disclosure Calculator.